Ramisa Mashumba. I'm a full-time farmer from Arendera. And um, this year I've launched a new product which is called Munandi Organic Grains. So um, Munandi Grains are grown um, using climate smart agriculture. What really drove me to this product is more that this year we ex experienced um, El Nino and we had terrible rains. So um, because of the rains I decided to look for something that was innovative that I could do with the, um, with the water that we had, the resources we had. So I started growing um, small grains, different types of small grains to just see how, how, how that can be like a mitigation. Before that, the year before, I had grown um, brown rice and when I was marketing my brown rice, I spoke to um, my, my customers really wanted to more of a range of products that they can buy. So they even asked me about even small grains. Do you have any small grains? Do you have any? Because all my products are organic and I wasn't able to offer them because I wasn't growing that. So I realized that there was a need in the market and that people in Zimbabwe are becoming more and more health conscious. People are concerned about what they eat. So um, so this is the reason. This is one of the birth of this vision is just to be able to provide people with that solution availability. So we've made tried to um, to grow it in a sustainable way and also to to produce it in a way that is affordable for people because a lot of times organic food is expensive but we've tried by all means to um, to allow people to be able to afford it so we've really priced it very low. This is Dambo from Mangaren province, Nyanga district. Nori mama onions, cabbage, red beans, red pepper, my tomatoes, my onions, tomatoes, my tomatoes, my mabayas. Nori nika edu ya lampere ene uruwa na ma reko kuyimpo, kuyimpo ta ma onion, reko kuyimpo ta ma tomatoes, reko kuyimpo ta ma beans. Suwa wa chuto batika luto survival horses, my young farmers. Trampe tinozo, bata reko shayo. Paul Zakaria, I'm the executive director of the Zimbabwe Farmers Union. Um, we are hosting the Zimbabwe Youth Agripreneurship Summit 2016 at the Zesa National Training Center in Harare. And this is the fourth such summit having started this concept in 2013. The basic uh, justification for this uh, summit uh, for all these summits that we have had is to provide a platform for young farmers or those that are engaged in agribusiness to interact, exchange ideas and also uh, fuel up their tanks in terms of energy, in terms of uh, enthusiasm so that they improve their businesses and they are in, involved in primary production, in processing, uh, in packaging, in distribution and uh, a host of other things in the value chains. So this year the theme of the, con uh, of the summit is if not now then when innovate or die. So basically this is premised along the, <coughs> uh, the parameters that the traditional ways of doing things, accessing capital, accessing markets, and even um, uh, industry, uh, uh, industry equipment to add value, uh, being not, uh, not as, as adequate and not even available, and not even meeting the technological uh, standards that are required. It requires young people or those that are involved in the agribusiness uh, sector to innovate. If they do not innovate, certainly they, they will go out of business. So we are looking at three main issues. The first being climate, how climate has affected um, primary production and what are the, imp the, the impacts of climate in terms of um, the primary production, processing and distribution and the costs associated with, or with uh, uh, the value chains and also the markets 
both local and export markets. We are looking also at the issue of finances, where we know that banks are no longer providing the, 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 the banks, for instance, in Zimbabwe, do not have the right type of money for agriculture. What you will access are short-term loans and very expensive you know, money at 18% to anything beyond 25%, where margins, yeah, profit margins are hovering around 15 to 18%. So you are starting your business already in the negative. So what we are looking at is our ways, you know, innovating around um, finance. What are the other strategies that we can employ to access finance cheaper and, uh, and easily? Then the third aspect is value chains, how we can open up the whole phenomenon of value chains so that young people engage in the value chains, um, in, in value addition, and they also find a place where value is created. So we have been toying around with ideas and ter terminology. We want to move from income generation to wealth creation so that people are not afraid of making money and these young people are not afraid of working, making money. So in the innovations that are coming up already we have begun to see the symposium that is dealing with climate change is bringing to the attention of the young farmers some of the technologies that can make primary production easy, that can make primary production enjoyable and uh, where agriculture is no longer meant to be labor intensive. You can actually practice your conservation agriculture where you plant your, your seed without necessarily disturbing all this, uh, the soil surfaces and then use uh, um, herbicides to, to, to kill the, the, the weeds and then use the same weeds in the same locations uh, as the mulch that your crops will then benefit from. So this is exciting and this is actually very new to the young farmers and it is making agriculture more and more attractive. If we, we are not going to talk about young people engaging in agriculture in a world and in a, at a time when demand for food is increasing, then we are spelling doom for ourselves in the next few years to come. So agriculture is not only for the old, it is for the passionate, young and innovative you know, people. So this is, the, this is the whole purpose why we are here. So as we speak, symposia, uh, we have the symposia on the three issues uh, going on right now and we are going to have presentations on the highlights of this symposia uh, discussions uh, this afternoon. So basically that's uh, why Please we are here. Other stories, visit our website www.263chat.com Follow us on Twitter at 263chat and like our Facebook page 263chat.